And this is a problem where we have to find the net electric field midway between two charges. Okay, and let's give you some numbers here and a picture. This is charge Q1. This is charge Q2. We are a distance midway between, and we'll call the total distance L. And let's give you some numbers here. So Q1 is going to be 5 microcoulombs. Q2 is negative 3 microcoulombs. And L is equal to 6 centimeters. Okay, and we want to find the E field right in the center, right there, midway between. Okay, how do we do this? Well, E fields are vectors, and we can use the principle of superposition to figure out what the E field is right here. And the E field is going to consist of two E fields, E1 and E2. And so all we have to do is figure out what the E field is due to Q1, what the E field is due to Q2, make sure we get the directions right, and add them up. So let's do two different problems. We'll do Q1, and we know that Q1 is a positive charge, and our point sitting right there, a distance L over 2 away from Q1. Q1's positive charge. Is the E field here pointing to the left or to the right? Is it pointing towards the positive charge or away from the positive charge? Away. away. Okay, E1 is pointing to the right. Perfect. We also know the strength of the E field, right? Because E field is KQ over R squared from a point charge, and so it just becomes KQ1 divided by R squared, but R is how far are you from the point charge, and so that becomes L over 2 quantity squared. And that is pointing to the right, and so we need to give a direction to it, I hat. We'll call this the x direction, so to the right is positive, that's an I hat. All right, what about the E field due to Q2? Q2 is sitting right there. Our point of interest is now to the left of it, a distance L over 2 away. And we said that Q2 was negative, right? Q2 is a negative charge, so we put a little negative sign right there. If that's a negative charge, what direction is the E field at this point? Is it away from the charge or towards the charge? Towards the charge, right? Negative charges are sinks. So E2 is pointing towards the negative charge. And now we know exactly what E2 is. E2 is KQ2 over R squared. And we know what R is. We'll just put that in right now. L over 2 quantity squared. And we know that it's to the right, and if it's to the right, then we can put an I hat right there, as long as we remember that this Q2, we're gonna use a positive number there. You've already taken into account the direction with this arrow. So you don't wanna put an extra negative in there because that would flip that arrow back to the left. Okay, so this is what we want for E2. Okay, so here we go. We've got 
charge Q1 gives us a field E1. We've got charge Q2 gives us a field E2. They're in the same direction, so we want to add them up. E is just E1 plus E2. Definitely going to need some new pens in here. We'll try the pink one. Okay, and now we know what those are. E1 is K, Q1, divided by L over 2, quantity squared. That is in the I hat direction. E2 is K times the magnitude of Q2 divided by L over 2, quantity squared. Both of those are in the same direction, I hat. And now we have some nice common factors here. We have K in both of those. We have L over 2, quantity squared in both of them. And then we have Q1 plus magnitude of Q2, I hat. Okay, and now let's put in those numbers and see what we get. What did we have for, well, K is 8.99 times 10 to the 9. What did we have for L? Six centimeters. Six centimeters. So in SI units, that's 0 0.06. We're going to divide that by 2, and then we're going to square the whole thing. Q1 was 5. Microcoulombs, is that right? Yeah. Okay. 5 times 10 to the minus 6. And Q2 was negative 3. So since we're doing the magnitude, it's going to be positive 3 times 10 to the minus 6. And then all of that is still multiplying I hat. And now, I want you guys plug this in to your calculators and tell me what you get. I will approximate it here. Okay, which is a good exercise. You should go through this yourself because it's good to have these skills. So that's a 9 times 10 to the 9. We're going to multiply by 8 times 10 to the minus 6. And then we're going to divide by 0.03 squared, which is 3 times 10 to the minus 2 quantity squared. All right. Uh, 9 times 8 is 72. We have a 10 to the 9 and a 10 to the minus 6, so that's a 10 to the 3. <coughs> Downstairs we have 3 squared, which is 9. 10 to the minus 2 squared is 10 to the minus 4. So 72 over 9, we just went backwards. It's 8 times 10 to the 7 in the I hat direction. So that's my guess. What did you guys get? That's the answer? OK, good. 8 times 10 to the 7. And so the strength of the electric field is the number out in front. 8 times 10 to the 7. And the SI units are volts per meter. And the direction is I hat, which in our picture is towards the negative charge. Towards the minus charge. Okay, that's the direction. Okay, good one. Any questions about that. Not too bad? Okay. Don't get too wrapped up with the signs. Always go back to your picture for the vectors. That'll tell you if you should be adding them or you should be subtracting them. Okay, go back to your picture of the vectors themselves.